who I did Ezio Auditore, the revered master assassin, venture to the foreign lands of Constantinople in his final chapter? A question that sets the stage for a journey steeped in intrigue and rich in history. Ezio Auditore da Firenze, now older and wearier, finds himself beckoned by the echoes of his past. A cryptic message from his late mentor, Altair Ibn La Ahad, is the catalyst that propels him into the heart of the Ottoman Empire, Constantinople. Ezio's journey to Constantinople isn't a triumphant return or a quest for glory, it's a pilgrimage, a journey of discovery and understanding driven by a desire to uncover the secrets Altair left behind. Ezio seeks the true purpose of the assassin's ceaseless war against the Templars. But Constantinople, a city straddling the crossroads of East and West, is far from a peaceful sanctuary. As Ezio steps onto the cobblestones of this bustling city, he's stepping into a world on the cusp of change. Constantinople is a city in turmoil, embroiled in a power struggle that threatens to tear it apart. The Byzantine Empire is on its last legs, and the Ottoman Turks are poised to seize control. This is the turbulent backdrop against which Ezio's final chapter unfolds. In the heart of this unrest, Ezio finds himself navigating a delicate balance of power and politics. His choices his alliances, and his actions will influence the fate of the city and its people. But this isn't just a story of political intrigue and power plays. It's a tale of personal discovery and introspection. Through the winding streets and towering minarets of Constantinople, Ezio embarks on a journey of self-discovery. He's not just looking for Altair's secrets. He's grappling with the weight of his own legacy the sacrifices he's made, and the lives he's touched. In the heart of this unrest, Ezio steps into the unknown, guided by the cryptic words of his mentor. As Ezio's journey begins, he carries with him the weight of the past, the hope of the future, and the enduring fight for freedom that transcends generations. Navigating through Constantinople was not going to be easy, but Ezio was prepared. As Ezio stepped foot in this bustling metropolis, a new challenge awaited him. The city's labyrinthine streets and towering spires presented a daunting task. But fear not, for our Cicinet assassin was armed with a new tool, the hook blady. This nifty device was more than just a weapon. It was an extension of Ezio himself. With the hook blade, Ezio could swiftly traverse the city's scaling, adding a new level of fluidity to his movements. Scaling walls, jumping across rooftops, or swooping down on unsuspecting enemies, the hook blade brought a renewed sense of dynamism to the assassin's repertoire. Yet, the hook blade was not merely a tool for navigation and combat, it was a symbol of Ezio's adaptability his willingness to evolve and overcome new challenges. It was a testament to his enduring spirit, a spirit that refused to be quelled by age or adversity. But Constantinople was more than a physical maze. Beneath the city's vibrant exterior, a political tempest was brewing. Power factions vied for control, and the city teetered on the brink of upheaval. Itzio found himself in the eye of the storm his actions potentially shaping the fate of Constantinople and its people. His alliances, his decisions, his victories and losses all had ripple effects in the grand scheme of things. It was a game of chess on a citywide scale and Ezio was both a player and a pawn. The stakes were high, the challenges daunting, but if anyone could navigate this treacherous terrain, it was Ezio Auditore. And so, armed with the hook blade and a resolve forged in the fires of experience, Ezio ventured deeper into the heart of Constantinople. The city was a puzzle, 
a maze of secrets waiting to be discovered, and Ezio was ready to unravel it. With the hook blade in hand and the fate of a city in the balance, Ezio was ready to face whatever came his way. But as Ezio delves deeper into the city and its secrets, the past starts to unfold. A city teeming with life and intrigue, Constantinople holds more than just the promise of discovery for our seasoned assassin. As Ezio navigates its labyrinthine streets and hidden chambers, he finds himself drawn into the echoes of a life once lived. It's in this ancient city that the lives of Altair and Ezio intertwine. Through the pages of Altair's codex and the keys, hidden throughout Constantinople, Itzio experiences the life of his predecessor in a series of interactive flashbacks. These aren't just a trip down memory lane. They are windows into Altair's life as a master assassin, a glimpse into the struggles and sacrifices he made in the name of the Creed. Altair's trials and tribulations resonate with Itzio. He sees in Altair a reflection of his own journey the shared burdens of duty and destiny. These flashbacks are not just about Altair's past, but Itzio's present and the future of the Brotherhood. They add a depth to both characters, painting them not as mere warriors, but as men grappling with their destiny. These glimpses into Altair's past serve as a stark reminder that the struggle between the Assassins and Templars is not just a battle for control, but a fight for freedom, a fight that transcends time and place. They lay bare the essence of the Creed, the commitment to protect the freedom of humanity at all costs. Ezio's journey in Constantinople is more than a quest for answers. It's a journey into the past, into the heart of the Creed, it's about understanding the legacy he carries, the legacy Altair left behind, and the legacy they both share. Through Altair's memories, Itzio begins to understand the true purpose of their fight. It's a fight that isn't defined by the shadows they cast, but by the light they shed, the hope they inspire. In the end, it's the ghosts of their past that guide Itzio towards his future towards the revelations that await him. Ezio's journey in Constantinople was not just a quest for answers. It was a journey of self-discovery. In the labyrinthine streets of the city, amidst the echoes of Altair's past and the turmoil of the present, Ezio grapples with the weight of his own legacy. He's no longer the brash young man who sought revenge for his family. He's a seasoned warrior, a mentor, a beacon of hope for the assassins. Yet the same question lingers. What does it all mean? The game beautifully captures Ezio's internal struggle, his reflections on the past and contemplations of the future. Every hidden tomb he uncovers, every secret he unravels, they're not just pieces of Altair's past, but mirrors reflecting his own life. The burdens he's carried, the sacrifices he's made, the lives he's touched, and the enemies he's made. In his pursuit of truth, Ezio comes face to face with the ghosts of his past and the shadows of his future. But he also finds hope, a flicker of light in the darkness, a testament to the enduring fight for freedom that he, Ultir, and all assassins are a part of. It's a battle that transcends time, a struggle that will continue long after he's gone. Revelations is not just Ezio's story. It's a testament to the legacy of the assassins, to the relentless pursuit of freedom, to the courage to question and to seek the truth. It's a tale of legacy, a testament to the battles fought and the sacrifices made in the name of freedom. But Ezio's tale is also a human one. It's about finding purpose in the chaos, 
about leaving a legacy that will endure, about understanding that the struggle is not just his, but that of all those who choose to stand against oppression. So, did Ezio's final chapter live up to his legacy? As we journeyed through Constantinople, we saw Ezio Auditore da Firenze in a new light. Older, wiser, and driven by a cryptic message from his beloved mentor, Altair. His pilgrimage wasn't about personal glory, but rather a quest for understanding. A hunt for the truth behind the endless struggle against the Templars. The bustling city of Constantinople, a metropolis on the edge of transformation, became his playground. Here, the hook blade was introduced, a clever tool that allowed Ezio to navigate the cityscape with unmatched agility and grace. Yet the city was far from serene. Amidst its power struggles, Ezio had to make decisions, influencing the destiny of the city and its inhabitants through his actions. But Revelations wasn't solely about Ezio's present. It also offered us a glimpse into Altair's past through interactive flashbacks that unveiled his life as a master assassin, the responsibilities he bore, and the legacy he left behind. As Ezio unraveled Altair's secrets, he was confronted with his own legacy, the echoes of the past, the weight of his actions, and the timeless battle for freedom that spans across generations. It was a tale of introspection and legacy, a reminder of the enduring fight for freedom that transcends time itself. In the end, Ezio's final chapter was more than just a game. It was a poignant narrative about the burdens of the past, the intricacies of legacy, and the relentless pursuit of freedom. But what about you? Did you find Ezio's final chapter satisfying? Did Revelations live up to the legacy of Ezio Auditore da Firenze? We invite you to share your thoughts. What moments stood out for you? What did you think of the introduction of the hook blade and the exploration of Altair's past? How did you feel about Ezio's final chapter and the game as a whole? Remember, the fight for freedom is never over. Until next time, stay sharp. Assassins. <laughs>